Hey there folks, welcome to the channel. My name is Simeon Krustev and I'm currently taking a 30 day fitness challenge. Today is day 21, which is gonna be a cardio day. And for those of you who are just tuning in, there's a link in the description that will take you to day one so you can follow along the journey. For the rest of you, stay tuned. <laughs> Alright folks, as I said, today is going to be a cardio day. <clears throat> so what we're going to be doing is 20 to 40 minutes of jogging. But we're going to step up the intensity a little bit, just like we did with all the other workouts. Uh, so we will add this a little bit more advanced component where we'll jog for 5 minutes and then bump up the intensity for a minute, for a minute to 3 minutes, depending on your level. So meaning we'll jog uh, at a steady pace for 5 minutes and then try to uh, increase that by 50%. So meaning if you're running uh, at eight kilometers per hour, try to go for 11 or 12 for a minute or two and then go back to normal. What this will help you do uh, is speed your heart rate up and it will put more demand on your body overall so you'll burn more calories over this period of time. So this is how we optimize our time. We don't want to spend an hour jogging that's why we go for a short jog, 30 to 40 minutes, even 20 to 40 depending on your level. Uh, varying the intensities and that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, I'm gonna probably do 30 minutes of jogging, going uh, 5 minutes steady pace and trying to go nearly to a sprint for 30 to 40 seconds, then back to normal and I'm gonna repeat that several times and that's gonna be the workout for today I'm gonna be back in a little bit for a stretching session after the workout so see you guys in a bit hey there guys welcome to day 20 of the 30 day fitness challenge and what you see me doing here is the cool down and stretching sessions after today's cardio workout so as I've said earlier, I completed 30 minutes of jogging, varying the intensity, and every 5 minutes I would increase uh, the intensity for 30 or 40 seconds and then go back to normal, repeat it 6 times, and that was the workout for today. So what you see me doing here is stretching my calves, because this is the tightest muscle group uh, after jogging. And what I do here is uh, try to elevate my foot somewhere, you can do it on the wall or here on a corner. As you can see me and try to have your heels uh, as close to the ground as possible and lean forward with your body keeping your uh, body upright so you'll feel an enormous stretch in your calves uh, try to hold for 20 to 30 seconds on each leg and then do both legs as well then try to place your foot on the ground without lifting it off and lean forward as you can see me here I'm pushing my hips this will also uh, work on your ankle mobility and uh, calves as well. Then try to elevate your foot slightly off the ground and place it on your heel. And this will work on your hamstrings and calves again. It's quite an unpleasant feeling, but try to move your foot around just to uh, get your muscles nice and loose because I assume they're very tight uh, if you're not a frequent runner as I am because I'm running only once or twice a week at most. So I get to experience quite uncomfortable feeling in my legs as soon as I'm done. The next on the list is the quad stretch. So what I'm doing here pretty much is holding my toes uh, and trying to pull my leg as far back as I can, keeping my body upright. This is really essential, guys. So you can't really see from this angle, but make sure you keep your chest up, head back, and try to push the hips forward as this will put an extra demand on your quads. Next on the list is the hamstrings and I try to have my uh, feet up here in the corner but the pain was uh, too much for me to hold, uh, to tolerate. So I have just did it the regular way as you can see here on the ground and I'm crossing my legs for a bit of extra stretch. What you do uh, want to do here is keep your back straight and push your hips as far back as you can. This will allow you to feel the stretch right above uh, right above the hamstring where it attaches to the glutes. 
then try to elevate your foot uh, higher it could be on a bench it could be on your bed and just lean towards it as still this will put a, an extra emphasis on the hamstrings and just pretty much stretch it from a different angle and it will allow you to get that mobility back because you have a lot of acting acids from all the running now so you want to flush it out and avoid any soreness that might come after the cardio workout now the angle is not really nice here so you can't really see but I'm trying to stretch my glutes here uh, so what I do is I put my leg on top of there and try to press my knee towards I think you better see from this angle now uh, so yeah I pretty much put my foot on top there and try to lean as much as I can toward, towards the place where I put it or else if you don't have uh, somewhere to lift your leg off you can do this just cross your legs on top of each other and press your knee of the leg that's on top crossing this will help you stretch the glutes the piriformis which is a really uh, small and tight muscle especially if you spend a lot of time sitting uh, then I'm just stretching my core pretty much stretching the hips I'm doing some rotations okay folks that pretty much concludes the workout for day 21 a nice fast jog cool down session tomorrow's gonna be an off day but I'm gonna share with you some more nutrition tips that can help you uh, get the maximum results out of uh, this 30 day fit challenge hope you're enjoying the workouts hope you're uh, enjoying the nutrition tips as well let me know down in the comment section below uh, if you're getting the results you're expecting what you're struggling with if you have any questions i'll be more uh, than happy to answer and help you out and see you guys tomorrow peace out